Do you guys talk all day, every day? Um, it's usually just a series of nudes. Sometimes we go Ooh. like like a day without talking. No words exchanged. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. It's the Craft Beer Republic. Thanks for drinking. Thanks for joining. I am Greg, being joined by, uh, by now a professional meat beater, and that's Flex. <laughs> Still learning. Still, Still learning. But you're getting Not paid to how learn. to beat my own. You know what? Never mind. It's, you're beating other people's meat? <laughs> you're beating other people's meat. Got it. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> On to the next. As promised, back for another week to everyone's favorite New Yorker. That's Beer Girl Mel. What's happening? I am everybody's favorite meat eater. Can you believe we it. roped her back into this? But, uh, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't <laughs> believe she just gave us that glorious drop, by the way. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Everyone's favorite meat eater. Get up. Uh, oh, <laughs> I am a carnivore. <laughs> Watch out, boy. All right. No, seriously. Right. I'm so glad to be back. Let's see if we can make this podcast as good as last week's. Well, fingers crossed, but uh, no promises here. Find us all on the socials at Craft Beer Republic, at Flex Me a Beer underscores in between, and at Beer Girl underscore Mel. Dude, that's twice in a row I've gotten it right. Woo, look you at go, me. Boy. Go. I am proud of myself. Pats on the back. All of those things. Uh, all right, lots to get to today. We're all drinking some tasty beer. Well, I just sampled mine. We're all yeah, drinking some beers. Saw your face, yep. man. Oh, that my was, God. That was this good is stuff. not what I was expecting. Jesus Christ. I, I, <laughs> I think this is my first experience with this. I almost. Hesitate to even review it. It's not good. We'll get to that in a second. Do you have another fridge beer? Quick. Grab some. Yeah. Something. Text the wife. Bring me anything. Uh, ludicrous libation law. We've got some booze news and so much. I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to get into this. Let's knock the negative stuff right out of the way. All right. Just Let's do talk it. Talk about this thing I'm drinking. Oh, gosh. I don't love my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my beer. I hate my beer. Oh my god! I just looked up the reviews. Uh, clearly, I, I'm I'm in the fucking minority here. Ooh. So today I'm drinking Apologies Brewery, Gnarly Barley Brewings, Castle Made of Clouds. Hey, what a cool brewery! Gnarly man. Barley Brewing. Like, Where are they based out of? Uh, that one place. Don't you know? As I buy myself time to click on stuff. Uh, in the, Louisiana. In the, in the castle. Oh. Hammond, Louisiana. Okay. Uh, so it's a Clark. barley-based beer. I don't know. We'll find out. They actually have a description. My beer last week did not. 8.5%. 413 on Untapped out of over 1,000 ratings. Wow. <laughs> wow. They wow. say... This hazy, juicy double IPA was brewed with oats and lact. Oh, there we go, lactose to provide the foundation for silky texture that is compounded by the tropical flavors that gush off the New Zealand Pacific Sunrise hops used. Starts with citrus up front and cleans up with a punch of pineapple that rounds out with stone fruit and dare we say a tiny hint of coconut. A paradise, a luxury, a castle made of clouds. Um. All right. On the schnoz. <laughs> I just keep getting stale beer smell. <laughs> I'm, I'm, maybe it's a bad can. I mean, it's got over yeah. four with over a thousand ratings. I'm looking for a date on the can. I can't find it. This did come from Tavor. Maybe it sat somewhere in a warehouse too long. Ooh. Um. The schnoz. It's just kind of stale smelling. The with description like, reminded me of my childhood, like a Quaker oats packet of like strawberries <laughs> and cream oatmeal, you know, yeah. like, and, well. and that is a positive thing. So I'm disappointed that yeah. it doesn't taste that way. Like I, I get maybe some like fermented fruit on the nose. Like it just, it's not, and I, I get like that hot burn smell, if that makes Ooh. any sense. Not I in a good like way. But it shouldn't. Yeah, but it shouldn't for the description that you just read to us. So I don't get any of the lactosey sweetness, which honestly is probably a good thing. Um, I just, I, I'm having a hard time pinpointing the flavor. It tastes 
old and stale and not in a beer snobby <laughs> you know like not like some beer, beer snobby way well right? here's the thing like beer snobby like this can is at least three weeks old it's stale it's like <laughs> that is true <laughs> i don't mean it like that i mean this thing tastes like it came from 1987 it's oh. i'm i'm gonna chalk it up to bad can i hope because with that sort of rating on tapped where people are fucking brutal um it just doesn't taste good and i know generally i'm not a huge fan of lactose and beer but this is not that this is just not good um oh darn i feel like lacto- yeah lactose kind of masks like anything bad too like yeah just add know, a little sweetness to it, it takes and, over so yeah so i'm, I'm scrolling down the reviews on untapped one person gave it a three and a half and said meh it's fine oh okay okay which is more than I would give it, but uh, oh, yeah, all right, is, well, uh, oof. I don't know if I'm going to finish this. Is it is it a drain pour? That's what I was going to uh, ask. I'm like, I, is this an, a drain pour? I guess we'll find out if I finish it or not. Oh my god! We'll we'll see if I end up texting my wife and asking for another beer. I feel, I feel like you, might you, might well. send, I feel like you should. Send, We're just starting the, the podcast. Out. Yeah, yeah. Just just do it. Yeah, gnarly barley. If you're out there. Send a good can of it so yeah. you can re-review it. I, I really hate saying uh, negative things about breweries, especially breweries I don't know that well. But man, this is um, this can't be what they intended. I'll say that. This can't be what they intended for it. So maybe, uh, you know, got really hot on that shipment over to Tavor or something. Ugh, rough. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot to unpack <laughs> in the beginning of the podcast. It's yeah, a let's, lot. let's move on. Uh, so much to get to today. Uh, you know, something we've followed for the last few years is like the ebbs and flows of Ballast Point and how they went from, uh, you know, craft darling of San Diego to sellouts, sellouts of the world. Yep. And uh, I think the only sellout brewery to increase their prices after selling out. And boy, did nobody want to buy Sculpin after that. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so I'm sure you guys all know Kings and Convicts bought them a few years ago. It was weird as fuck when they did, and it was a super cheap, like, pennies on the dollar price compared to what they were bought out at, and uh, has anybody actually been to Kings and Convicts? Okay, so here, here's a funny story about this, okay? So we got a little local beer crew over here, uh, like the southeastern Wisconsin area, and uh, my, f- my friend, his handle uh, is Brewery Travels, Okay, a little underscore in between. And he said, he sent this message out the other day. He said, do you guys remember that small brewery that bought Ballast Point? Well, I'm here, and it's one of the strangest brewery tap rooms I've ever been to. So he proceeded to send us uh, a few pictures of the brewery. And it is um, like a a completely empty warehouse. There is this strange, uh, it's got a golf simulator, believe it or not. It's it's empty with a golf I know simulator. With one of those um, lawn furniture, <laughs> like lawn chairs and just like old like, wooden like tables, the plastic lawn chairs, like plastic lawn chairs, and they serve. They have no glassware and they serve all their beer in uh, red solo cups. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, and they have like wow. uh, like wow. city. They have like city trash bins as their garbage cans, like as inside too. Yeah, it's just it's super fucking bizarre. Uh, so weird. I, it's got it's got to be a front for something, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, clearly. I mean, here's the thing: no one had ever heard of Kings and Convicts until they bought Ballast Point, and I think at this point, still no one's heard of Kings and Convicts. But yeah, they got to be like laundering money through Ballast it's Point. It's got to be right? something. It has to be. Has to be. I mean, who <sighs> who just serves beer? Like, if you're making craft beer. You're serving it to people in red solo cups. That's the word. I hate. I hate plastic cups. I'm so, here's where I am a beer snob. I want it in a glass. <laughs> I don't want plastic. It's just bizarre. Yeah. I don't know. Am I am I alone in the glass thing here? No. I mean, I no. I, I like a good glass. Yeah. I, I do okay. not I'm, like. Yeah. I'm not plastics, so crazy no. to be like glass, yes, the style please. of glass. Like this glass sure. is for this or whatever. But I do like a nice clean glass yeah yes. even if it's just like a your your typical pint glass just yeah for sure just please a glass my, my, necessary yeah like unless i'm tailgating where i need to like dispose of different story well, then i just drink cans that's yeah <sighs> okay I'm, yeah i'm not i'm not a total savage it's probably not a good beer anyway so right i'm just wow. wondering if they're like just venturing in from like 
home brewing to now they have acquired this. But how do you space. get all that money to buy Bales Point? What do they call them? Nepo babies? Nepo, mm-hmm. right? Like a Nepo baby, like the celebrities that have kids that are, they're uh, born into money. So, and then they just do whatever they want. Like they come up with like a sock line. <laughs> <clears throat> sock line. Um, like a sock line, like oh, the sock. Okay, sock like Rob Kardashian. Not dropping names, but you know, like things like that, where it doesn't even make sense. Like, um, or like a pillow company <laughs> where their parents are like, "We, you need to do something." Check out my pillow. And he's like, "Well, I'm really good at like <laughs> flip cup and like partying in college. <laughs> like, buy me this brewery." And here we are. You know, maybe. Yeah, I, who? I, it's fucking maybe. weird. So weird. It is. Bizarre. That is weird. Yeah, I you would think like whoever bought Bell, even though the pennies on the dollar is still like fifty million dollars, you'd, you'd think maybe your your home base would be a little upgraded. Well, yeah, that's, right. that's a big <laughs> chunk of money. It's a big yeah. chunk of money. That's super weird. I'm so glad. Who's your friend that sent that over? What was the gram? Brewery travels with the underscore in between. Go give him a follow. I'm glad he sent that over. I had no idea. That's so fucking bizarre. Yeah, it's uh, how bizarre. How it was crazy. I I had. No idea it even looked like that. Uh, I don't think anybody does. <laughs> no one's <laughs> actually ever been there before. He's the first. But I guess it's funny. Cause, I mean, the golf simulator in there is like huge too. It looks like an industrial gar- like a industrial big fucking like garbage bin dumpster. Why not? I, yeah. I guess. I don't know. So they're Italians then. <laughs> Maybe. So you're right. They are funnily money. Never mind. <laughs> Do the Italians love golf simulators? Is that what this no, is? No, garbage. That's oh, the garbage. Whole, oh. Yeah. That's the whole front. The sanitation business. Come on now. Are you allowed to talk about this in public? Are you gonna... <laughs> I, I'm not on that side of the... I'm not on that side. Oh. So, yeah, I can. You're okay. okay it's legit. It. I mean, even if you watch like The Sopranos or any of them. Yes. It's well known. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That's an Italian out there and... They easily would just not care about pushing some money one way for one okay. of their kids to take over. A yeah, I guess kind of makes sense. Yeah. Ne- next podcast, Mel's disappeared <laughs> wearing cement boots and can't be found in the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Somebody is off me. Our guest tonight is Mel. Hey, Mel, how's it going? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mel's a little tied up right now. Not even funny. Yeah. She's a rat. Yeah. Niches get stitches. Mel, do you speak Italian? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, damn. No, that was part of the immigration in the 1950s when everybody came over was to become an Amer- like to become Americanized as fast as possible. Oh. We were really not looked well like at, you know, like Italians and Irish. Right. Our immigration, if you do like ever read a history book. Well, like, yeah, it's the Irish and People the gold didn't rush. like us. Yeah. People did not like the Italians and they were like <laughs> just very quick to try to become American because and also like that was the goal. I feel you like know, that was it was most, like their dream. Most immigrants, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, coming over but for if you see like new like old immigrants versus new immigrants, the new immigrants are definitely keeping like a hold of their traditions, their language, their culture, which I love. Um, but yeah, no, we're kind of lost. So, do, unfortunately, do you speak no. about as much as Peter Griffin? I know, like, the bad words. Oh, that's important. bibbidi bobbidi bibbidi bobbidi That's all I know. Uh, all I right, know. now... We'll... Sugo means sauce. Oh. You even said sauce right. Sauce. Yeah, yeah. I like saying it like that. All right, we'll, we'll stop offending immigrants now. We'll move on to, to more beer things. Uh, before we find out what Mel's drinking over there, Ludicrous Libation Law. This one comes from Connecticut. Apparently, druggists, which I didn't even know was a It's not a, a real word. Yeah. Why don't they just call them pharmacists? But druggists <laughs> in the state must pay $400 each year for a special license. That is, if they want to use alcohol in compounding prescriptions. Okay, now I'm curious, because <laughs> Tim, my Monday buddy, he's a pharmacist. No. Oh. So I, now I need to know if this what is, is a druggist? Druggist thing is real, uh, real word. Like I'm a, guessing it's a pharmacist who also does compounds, like mixes their own shit. Yeah, oh, but okay. that, pharmacists are allowed to do that all, yeah. all across the board. So well, in Connecticut, if you want to use alcohol in your things that you're compounding, you have to have oh, a special license. That's I wonder interesting. why they would put alcohol into the compound. I don't know. Maybe it. Does All right, now I have something. to do research for the yeah. next podcast. See you yeah, next no, week. You would be super interested in that. 
Yeah, yeah, I would because that's also like intravenous, so it could be dangerous. Oh, but oh yeah, I mean, imagine you could just get your alcohol through an IV. That'd be a be new very bar. They have, they have like that in Vegas, right? The IV bars. Yeah, but it's you don't not put alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> it's usually like vitamins. It's like so you it's to recover from uh, yeah, alcohol. Yeah, to not be hungover. Yeah, I knew that. I was just <laughs> sure wait. What, I guess you could put anything in it, really. But yeah. now I'm curious. <laughs> oh, I'm curious. Flex, you ever butt funnel some beer? <laughs> <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how he didn't actually answer the question. So uh, we'll move on to find out what Mel is drinking <laughs> over there as we call to the pen. He calls to the bullpen for beer. So, of course, I am going to shamelessly plug uh, Aspire Brewing again, but I am really excited to share this beer with you guys because it's one of my favorites. It's the Hellas Lager. It's called Dextrous. It is a light beer. It's a game day beer, so it was perfect Mm. to be called to the pen or from the pen because it's 5.3%. It is all malt, Pilsner, and Kara Munich. Enjoy lightly sweet malt flavors in this crisp and very drinkable Hellas lager. Um, dexterous. Adjective. Having mental adroitness. I'm saying that wrong. Or skill. Also clever. Um, fun fact, I am ambidextrous. Oh, which means that hmm. I do things with both of my hands. You jerk off with both hands. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I write with my left. I do a lot of things with my right. Uh, this beer is phenomenal. You guys, I did send you a picture of it so you can see the clarity. Nice and clear. It's got, um, beautiful bubbles, very effervescent. Uh, my nose job is not really working so well. My nose job. (laughs) It's been fired. But you know what? I can, I can smell the malt through that. I can smell. I couldn't identify it. I couldn't tell you which one it is, but it's got that really bready smell. Mm. And when I give it a little taste, this is the tongue job. This is just a really clean. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I love this beer so much. It's it's almost like drinking a pretzel minus the salt. You know what I mean? It's got that really nice, enjoyable malt where it's like a little sweet, but definitely not caramel. Definitely not malt bomb, like bready light like i want to drink this all the time i could have probably like five or six of these and never be satisfied i would want another one it's just really well executed it's one of my favorites hands down and um i've noticed like over like probably the last like year and a half i've i've been kind of migrating towards more of those like crispy boys as you call oh, them yeah. you know like more hellas lagers um a kolsch i love a good kolsch um, straight Pilsner, you know, just something a little bit lighter, a little bit cleaner that like could really pair well with anything that you're eating or doing any game day activity. It's a lawnmower beer. Oh mm. gosh. It's just gorgeous. I contend that, uh, Hellas and Kolsch are the two styles that you can judge a brewery on. Like if they can knock those out, there's nothing yeah. to hide behind a Hellas or a Kolsch. If they knock those out and they're great, then, uh, this is, Phenomenal. I'm going to have to send you guys some care packages of the beer so you can agree with me. Um, The can art is fun. I did send it to them, but they can't see it. And it's like this kind of, I can't tell if it's like a nature-y hand or if it's a zombie hand, but it's holding like malt in it. And it's kind of like facing upward. So the palm is facing upward with the malt kind of in between the thumb and the pointer finger. Yep. You're doing it, Flex. Just close that pointer finger and the. I thought it was kind of like a robot hand. I, it does kind of look robotic, but like as I look at it, like the joint kind of looks like uh, hmm. it's hard to tell. They kind of look like they could be mushrooms or yeah, man, like swap thing. I don't swap know. Thing. <laughs> swap thing. I'm such a fan. Blast I'm such a past. fan of this beer. Uh, this love, is I love one how of the passionate f- you are about a lager, by the way. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know. You know what? Like true beer nerd. I mean, I'm it, huge it really, on lagers, and I think that's wow. not huge knowing anything about them, just huge on really enjoying a good one. <laughs> yeah. So, like, like, I feel your passion so this much. Is, this is like your everyday beer. Like, I would make this my Bud Light, but, wow. like, I'm classier than Bud Light. You know what I mean? 
Who is it? Um, I, it's not even comparable to Bud Light. Like, it's so much better, but it's just, it's one of those beers you want to have it in your fridge. You have a couple people over, you're watching the game. Like, this is what I'm drinking. It's a people pleaser beer. Like, it's one of those party beers where you know you put it out and anybody who's a beer drinker won't be mad about it. No, they'll have it and they'll yeah. want more of it. It's like out here, it's like 805. If you're going yeah. to, if, if you need to have one beer at a party, it's 805. No one's going to hate it. It's, it's just, it's on tap. There you go. Heck yeah. Nice and light. Get it. Not I hope I'm doing it justice because it really is that good, though. No, yeah, it's perfect. You know what perfect I mean? Perfect Sunday I mean, beer. I, I think you've it all plastered day, it football. all over the yeah. wall, actually. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> you, you, you've painted a mural of it <laughs> yeah. in town. That, that's what you did to this beer. That is absolutely what happened. Yeah. I think you did a great job. Oh, well, good. Well done. Thank you. They owe you money now. I would hope so. I mean, <laughs> I do get to drink for free mostly. So. Oh, oh yeah. Rub it in. I free. guess that works. <laughs> I guess that works out. That automatically automatically adds like two points to the beer, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's a seven. Oh, it's free? That's a nine. That's yeah, a niner. this is delicious. Yeah. The <laughs> niner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, free beer is delicious. Um, all right, let's move on to a little bit of booze news before we find out what Flex is drinking over there. Connor McGregor, his forged Irish stout is now available in the U.S. And by U.S., cool. they just mean Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and very specifically, New York City. Ooh. New York City. Uh, he says, it's time the world gets to experience a true Irish stout that is 100% Irish compared to the competition. Is that a shot at Guinness? I was going to say, yeah. My team and I have, have worked extremely hard to produce the world's creamiest stout here in my brewery in Dublin. And it's breaking all records in Ireland and the UK. So now it's time to take over the US. I, I guess so. I, I mean, no idea. Who knew? And now it's in Mel's hood. Getting it. Research. Yeah. I bet he's contract brewing. I mean, I guess I could have done some research. Well, no. Nobody yeah. pays you for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, the average price of a 12 ounce beer at US bars and restaurants increased. 10.2% over the last year, uh, ending August 12th. So, uh, beer's just getting more and more expensive. Well, you know, inflation. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, government. Thanks, government. Uh, in a, in a turn of, wow, did we not need this? Coop Ale Works has partnered with Welch's, you know, like Welch's the jelly. Grape juice? Grape juice, grape oh. juice and jelly. Not Bart. jam. There's a difference. <laughs> um, <laughs> they are going to put out a 7.5 percent spirit spirits based beverage. Ew. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> no. What are we doing here? <laughs> it sounds like diabetes. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be some weird peanut butter and jelly malt beverage, and it's just not <laughs> oh. going to be good. <laughs> oh. I can't wait for like the Knott's Berry Farm boysenberry 7.5% seltzer. That's a California joke, uh, everybody. But uh, yeah, what? at what point does this thing jump the shark and we're done turning everything into a fucking seltzer? Um, it's not going to stop until we stop it. We have to stop the machine because everybody's just trying to make money. It's on us. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the We should have stopped fault. it at Bud Light Flannels. What oh, were we God. thinking? Uh, yeah, those cans the Yankee were Candle cool, edition. <laughs> you, they, you know, this is like absolute shit, but <laughs> <laughs> those would have faded. The the saving grace for the Bud Light ones was when Mel sent them to Flex. Yeah. And he posted them and they got a huge spike in sales because Flex is so hot. <laughs> and yeah. I'm sure that's exactly yeah. totally <laughs> reverse the course. It's Mel's fault for making Flex I, drink them. I you dared up. me. You dared me. It's your Just, fault. Why right? would you actually send Bud Light seltzers <laughs> through the mail? That's my question. <laughs> Why would anybody do that? Because Craig dared me to. I did. So I did. Yeah, you were the one that said I could be on the show if I sent them, and then we could review them. And I was like, "That's my end." So um, I don't. By the way, I also like kind of put a lot of really good beer in with that. I, you did. You I did think do there was that. like fifteen cans in a medium. Holy shit. Yeah, like a medium box. Like Mel, I it's like a hundred dollars in shipping. Cur yeah, Mel don't packs even mess crazy. with me. Yeah, I don't care. Did you get the good beer besides the shitty seltzers? Yes, I did. Okay, so th shut up. 
<laughs> drink the damn seltzer. Now here's here's the question. Did you <laughs> send them all? Yeah. Did you send them one of each flavor? Or did you send yes. them the whole box? No, I sent one of each flavor because oh, I okay. felt it wasn't fair for him to do it alone. So I tried them all and they were awful. Yeah, it well, really what was, was like it? it was the marshmallow. Oh yeah, there the was a pumpkin, marshmallow the apple and, and then there is a pear. The pear the pear was oh. probably the best one. The worst was the apple because it tasted like a Yankee candle. <laughs> like I bit into a Yankee Drinking candle. Drinking wax. The apple yeah. was bad. The marshmallow smelled like it was going Ooh. to be good, and then that was bad. They all smelled like they were going to be the exactly what was on the label. But so when you bad. tasted them, Oof. something went awry. It's so weird that something from Bud Light tasted bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have seen that coming? Do they still do these holiday packs? I wonder if that's... Do they even still do Bud Light Seltzer? Yeah, they have like that tie-dye edition. I saw Ew. that over the summer. What does that taste like? Weed or something? Like, I don't what? know. I didn't try them. No, nah, come on. We need, we need you to do that Bud Light <laughs> Seltzer research. Our yeah, official you... Bud Light Seltzer correspondent, Beer Girl Mel. <laughs> this just in. It tasted like shit. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you really want to hear you drag out the eye like chase it like shit, shit. it's a ah. bit nutty <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? oh god austin all right what else is happening oktoberfest oh here we go before we find out what flex string oktoberfest 2023 had a record number of visitors i think i heard about this me but too they but they did not sell as much beer as they sold in the past I didn't hear that. It was cannabis? Was it something oh, about weed? Oh, it was not cannabis. No? So they had oh, seven cocaine. point... <laughs> there it is. Spoiler yeah. alert. They had 7.2 million visitors, but beer sales were lower than 2019. And that's because of cocaine. Yeah, I read this. There were 368 instances of drug use uh, being reported. So, you know, tons more happened. Right. At the 2023 festivals, most party goers were caught with nothing more than weed, but 40% of people recommended were in possession of cocaine, an 80% increase compared to the previous year. 40%? Yes. That's like half of the people, guys. So That's a lot. Did, did they just discover it over there or what? <laughs> Maybe they cracked down. Did you guys break you... up some chalk? What is this? Oh, cocaine. Oh, let's try it. I mean, you got to have, when you're drinking all that beer, you got to have something to like wake you back up, or, you know, is sober that. you up. Or so. they're like still like 20 years behind and they're like, hey, don't Tony Montana, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're like 30 years. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Lots of years. You know, like an Euro trip though, when they go to fucking <laughs> Bratislava <laughs> and the guy's like, where's the beef? <laughs> I can't believe oh, you remember man. anything from Eurotrip. <laughs> Miami Vice, number one new show. Were we not just talking about this recently? <laughs> yeah, you uh, sent me the Scotty doesn't yeah. know thing. Scotty doesn't Scotty know. Scotty doesn't know. Dude, Eurotrip is the best, by the way. It like, really I haven't is. seen that in so long. I remember uh, that entire movie. So so here's a funny local story that's related to this. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to name breweries. But somebody I know that works at a local brewery that had an Oktoberfest celebration said that it got a little out of hand and they actually found people in the, not even outside, in the brewery at a table doing cocaine. And like I, in the open. In the open, not trying to wow. hide it. And I jokingly said to this person, like, maybe that's how the Germans do it. And that was before I had found the story. <laughs> Turns oh, out man. that's how the Germans do it. They're Apparently, into cocaine. Germans wow. love the cocaine. Yeah, they're just trying to be authentic with their coke. That's so, crazy. Uh, yeah. They're very into thought? like their festivals and the music and oh, all that. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense to me. Though, I don't know. Uh, accordions don't make me think cocaine. No, no, no. I mean like electronic festivals. Oh, There's a lot of them out I there. I got a yeah. fucking yes. polka for a hundred straight hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me all of the cocaine. <laughs> Hands are getting tired. Must oh my God. Do God. roll out the lines. barrel. Keep roll dancing. out the barrel with the cocaine. That turned a little Cosby at the end. Did it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Put the barrel on the cocaine. Was <laughs> <laughs> the put in the, the pops? <laughs> Your Cosby is the equivalent of Peter Griffin's Italian. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so good. 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> so bad it's good. Exactly. That you nailed it. Uh all right, let's answer some important and when I say important, I mean long, important questions. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Where craft beer is king. Everybody take a nap. In a world where <laughs> muscles are bigger than growlers. Only one tongue can guide us. One man. One tongue. One tongue jobber. world we must find out come on <laughs> what is flex drinking wake up all right everybody's still there no you didn't leave all right um i'm still here so I, I i have been drinking uh some microphone brewing beers lately mm-hmm. yeah. and, and this one caught my eye a couple weeks ago and it's ironic because I had just told Don't somebody the think? other day I was uh, I, I've not been into sours recently. Mm. Like I've, I've stopped buying them altogether probably for like the past year, I would say. Oh. Yeah. Like I just don't do it anymore. This one caught my eye. It is the Key Lime Cheesecake Incident. It is a Key Lime Cheesecake inspired Berliner style Weiss. Berliner, huh? Ale. Berliner? I guess. Fuck you, man. Berliner. Um, I got called out for the Modelo thing again today. Modelo. And I, just, I, I only love it because I think the last time you said Berliner, Mel was on the show. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I, I always read it as Berliner. You're cute as fuck. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Um, so it's what I just said it was uh, with lactose, <laughs> key lime, scram cracker, and cheesecake flavoring. <laughs> By the way, this sounds like a dream it- beer from my wife. It um, sounds delicious. Like I want it to be the yeah. Burger King slice of pie. Oh, do you guys remember those? No, I do. Yeah, the Burger King pies. You get like a slice, and they had the key lime one, and it, it had was a graham a, cracker. It was crumb. in a little box that was triangle shaped. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It was a like slice a one of pie. slice. Yeah, yeah. No, we only went to Burger King when they were uh, Pokemon toys in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I got to yeah. go there a lot because I was a latchkey kid, and I was given like five dollars a day yep. to eat. Yeah, this is when we were kids, Flex. Well, Greg, you're like two years older than I am. <laughs> you're right. I think three. <laughs> so uh, no wonder you don't remember. 37, right? Mm-hmm. 38. Oh, you're 37. Okay. Um, <laughs> 37 so, it is. So this is uh, 6% back to the beer. Uh, untapped literally says everything I already said. Um, and it's uh, 1.2 thousand, 1. 2, thousand ratings, 1. 1.2, 1,200 ratings. I don't know. 1. Sounds weird. 1.2. I thought you were gonna say one point two stars. <laughs> I'm like, wow. What? Yeah, it says one point two K reviews. It just sounds weird when you say one point two. One thousand two hundred. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. We'll get okay. there eventually. We're gonna get there. Okay. Uh four point one is the overall out of that. Ooh. So all right. Um, I think that's good. So super mine. limey on the, the old schnoz. Um yeah. like super limey. Like think of limes. Well, key mm-hmm. limes. I don't want to be a dick. Um, there is a difference, a very big there, difference. There is. This, yeah. You can definitely smell like the sweetness yeah. of, of the lime. It, oh, yeah. It's, it's wonderful. And, and it does look like lime juice oh, yeah. as so you're that's drinking the, it. That's too. Like the Describe color, that it, it, to it, the it, viewers. It, 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 looks yeah. like it looks like a, a, a glass limonada. Of l- lemonade almost. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a margarita, like a melted yeah. margarita. Yeah. yeah. It's, Absolutely. Uh, very, uh, it, it's a great, it's a it, inviting color, I think, mm-hmm. to it. To a sour style. Uh, and, then, and then we get the old tongue jobber up in there. I <laughs> <laughs> would trail. Yeah. I can't take him serious when he does that. No, I can't can. stand up when he does that. Um, so this beer, it's like super effervescent. It is sour, mm. but oh, it's delicious because the lime and the graham cracker and the cheesecake, they all come together. Mm. And nothing is overpowering. No flavor is overpowering in this beer. And it is just really well executed. And I want more and more and more and even more of this. Ooh, I it like is that. very delightful. Big words. Yes. Yeah. I like very when you're words. wanting and needing more from something, you know? Yes. More, good. please, sir <laughs> or ma'am. What sticks out the most? Is it the lime? Is it the graham cracker sweet it's, kind it's, of? It's certainly crumble? the lime. It's certainly the lime. Okay. And then uh, 
you get the cheesecake flavoring and it's not it's not a weird because it's not like a chunky over fruited type dealy here. Yeah. Um so the cheesecake isn't what's the word? Right. It's not like a chunk. It, yeah, yeah. You know what you I know? mean? So it's just like you get that slight flavoring, but it pairs so well with it's the lime. Smoochy. And then you get a little bit of that graham crackery mm. crumble. It's just, oh, it's, it, I'm telling you, it's so Sounds good. You're delicious. drinking dessert right now. For I real. Am. You're welcome. Greg, I wonder if we Me. could appeal to uh, Burger King to see if they could <laughs> give us a pairing. I was Send us the- a slices of those. I was thinking why well, he was talking about that after we talked about Burger King, like Burger King should do some sort of collab right? beer where they, like, they, yeah. they call it like triangle in a box or something like that. And like at least in California, like they should get on the Taco Bell train. Yeah. You know, like Taco Bell, you can get like alcohol, right? Out there by you guys. No, no, it's Vegas. There are some Taco Bells where oh. you can get alcohol. Oh, yeah. the cantinas. The yeah. cantinas. Are there any in California? They're probably, I, I would, they're based I in California. I thought that's so where they probably. were. Um, New York I've never, gets illegal for sure. I've never come across one of the cantinas before. Oh, okay. But I think it's legal because it's not a fast food joint. They they it's fill like it a sit down restaurant. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right. Well, Burger King, if you're out there, I'm pitching you. Let's bring those slices back. I would I would eat fast food if they had those again. Was it they that had that good like or Snickers one too? I Snickers love those good. little pies. I All don't right, know so, why. I think it's nostalgia. So beyond the pies, Burger King worst fast food or. <laughs> Oh God, I I haven't had fast food in like I had like two bites of McDonald's last year in a very bad point of a day. Very, very my kids didn't want to eat it, and then very I looked dark down time and I was like, life. somebody better eat it. But I actually don't eat fast food, and I haven't really eaten it in like fifteen years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really eat very little to right, no fast food. So, so little, what are but... like the main fast food restaurants that are like nationwide for everybody? Yeah. It's like McDonald's, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Wendy's, Wendy's yeah, Taco, Taco Bell, Bell Taco KFC. Jack the Box. KFC, I don't consider Jack we, in the I, Box. No, we don't have. We, Jack yeah, in we the don't box have here. Jack in the Box either. Oh, really? Um, Mel, do you have Carl's or Hardee's? Neither. Oh. I think we Those have, are Jersey. I think Those we have Jersey. one Hardee's in Wisconsin. Yeah. Two two but, Hardee's. We have two Hardee's. But no Carl's Jr.? No. No. Uh, I mean, it's the same fucking thing. Same but. thing, yes. Right. I know that. I do know that about them. But um, Jersey is where they have those. Mm. So it's really like your big box brand fast food. Taco Bell, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger yeah, King. I would say Burger King Popeye's, King's KFC. Popeye's is not that big out here. Yeah. We only have a couple by me. Yeah. It's making its way, I think. I think it's Raising its Cane's way. is making its way. I've oh, seen like that, that a few times. There. Is it yeah. good? Oh, Chick Fil A. Oh, Chick Fil A is the best. A little hit and miss out here. It's the best. Um, Chick Fil A they- people are trying to get them to be a part of us, but it's hard because they're like very religious, like Christians. Yeah. So they're, like they're, the people that own these franchises are usually yeah. not white Christians, so they just don't let them have franchises. Yeah, the Chick Fil A beliefs have slowed down their growth. In California, yeah, 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 same here. Yeah, I, I just love how they have a restaurant in Mercedes Benz Stadium. Oh, do they? Where, that. Yeah, where they have football games on Sundays, and the restaurant remains closed. <laughs> Why blows, would you have one there? Then? No, my... they do not open on Sunday. Oh, that's hilarious. Lou actually applied for like to become an owner, like a franchise person. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he's not Catholic enough, and he's not. <laughs> white enough <laughs> so, so they turned I could, him down i can see lou being like you don't think i'm fucking catholic enough yeah. he was just fucking, like he i was wear like, a fucking what are gold these? chain with a fucking gold i love cross. it's a fucking chicken <laughs> yeah he was like what are these questions he's like they're asking me do i save nona or do i you know get this baby baptized what does this have to do with chicken and i'm like i have no idea <laughs> I don't know. I'm wow. going to go and save that the kid. Save the kid. That is a brilliant applicant question. It is the weirdest <laughs> thing ever. He's out. He heard it and he came out and he was like, he's looking at me and he was like, you have no idea. He's like, I'm traumatized over it. <laughs> That's insane. Fucking weird. <laughs> it made no sense. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, how fast can you fry the chicken and then right. save both of them? Right. That's my answer. <laughs> uh, who's <laughs> so who's so hungry? Ridiculous. It's so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, so fast food, huh? All right. Yeah. Okay. You, you guys, neither of you have in and outs out there, right? No. No, oh, I want to okay. try one though. We have Delicious. Culver's, good, which if right? you have, if you haven't had Culver's, you really need some. And we have mm. Five Guys. See, we have, have Five, we have five, five guys? guys too, but Five we Guys do. is a ripoff. 
Oh, is yeah, it? Yeah. Darn. I'll go to In-N-Out over Five Guys. So that was a big thing. When Five Guys first popped out over here, they were like, oh, Five Guys versus In-N-Out. I was like, In-N-Out in a heartbeat. What about but Bear Burger? You have Bear Burger? Like B-A-R-E? No. No. Sounds okay. plant-based. Um, yeah, no, it does. Huh? It's legit, but it's Hard like pass. very Whole30. Oh. You know, no like additives. Like it's 100% oh, like beef and all that. Yeah, it's good. I like those burgers. Hey, so this is a beer show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're just over here sound like stoners. Like, so I right. to Oh, McDonald's. I could use a burger right now, man. I'm so hungry. Spicy beer. chicken sandwich. Oh, God damn. <laughs> so good. Popeye's has some good spicy chicken nugs. I uh, I haven't been to Popeyes in like thirty years, but goddamn, <laughs> they're not popular out here. Uh oh, Flex, this is so good. Wisconsin bar is getting oh, yeah. rid of porn. <laughs> this is so good, so good, so there's, bizarre. So there's a, there's a bar in Madison that shows porn on Saturday and Sunday mornings. It's called Bennett's Meadowood Country Club. I love that their name what? is Country Club. By the way. It's not a country club. It's a shitty dive bar. Oh. I looked it up. And they, they show porn Saturday and Sunday mornings, and they call it Porn in the Morn. Porn in the Morn, yep. And and so I looked them up on Yelp, and like all their regulars, they call it Smut and Eggs, which is great. Oh, God. Uh, they have three and a half stars on Yelp. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a couple of chuckles, check out the Yelp comments. There's some funny stuff. But uh, apparently they're getting rid of porn. Have you ever been there, Flex? No, I've never even heard of it, but I saw the the post and I had to send it to you. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, we yes, you did. We have a few bars out here that they play nothing but like classic wrestling shit oh, on the TVs, I'm like in. all day and all I've night. I've heard of that. Uh, so that's a popular thing around like the Milwaukee area. Uh, I've never never seen porn until uh, now. <laughs> Are these any, for like the bar. third shifters? Probably. Like, you know, they're like just the getting off of work, yeah. and they're like... Yeah, they get off at like 6. Is that what you call them? And... 7, 7 a.m.ers? I mean, that's that's when bars open here for them, for like the third shift people. Yeah, third shift. Hmm. That's so weird. Yeah. And also, it'd be uncomfortable to like be in public watching that and like eating and drinking. I don't know. I'm sure it was like like classic porn, you know? like oh, uh, All old, the comments like said it was like from the 80s and See, like very and old that's porn. Like and... Borderline... Like is it, you can almost consider it being like comedy movies. Yeah, oh, but like, okay. like real question: Would you feel weird ordering sausage? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Extra sausage, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sir, how's your sausage? Delicious and large. <laughs> <laughs> can we get some more porn out here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm running low on porn. I can still stand up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, that's uh, that's middle of America at its finest. Yeah, welcome it, it to the Midwest. That way. Yeah. Well, apparently they've been doing it for like 30 years. Why stop now? That's that's my question. Why stop now? Maybe they finally discovered Yelp. I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, people don't love the porn. Apparently, like most of the reviews talked about how, like, uh, you know, you better be ready for the porn. The food's not great. You're coming for the atmosphere and the comedy and that kind of thing. So, you know. See, so I guarantee the porn is just like a funny. Th- it's more. It's got to be more of a funny thing than oh, like I'm a sure. serious thing. I totally. But, you know, enjoy yeah. your sausage and your sausage. It just feels like to me like a night that never ended. And then you wanted yeah. it to eat, keep going, but you needed to eat something also. And then it just <laughs> ended up. I think you nailed going it. Going very yeah. south. That's like, like very quickly. <laughs> oh, South. There, definitely. There's a strip club in uh, in Milwaukee that does all you can eat breakfast that starts at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Which I appreciate because a lot of the, the strip clubs out here that also serve food, it's always like get some chicken wings and stuff. It's like, you know where I don't want to order chicken from? A fucking strip club. Yeah, that word. sounds dangerous. Hard pass. I mean, heat, heated pan of scrambled eggs and bacon and Ew, all some of breakfast it. potatoes. It just me out. No. But that, that's all stuff that went. It sounds like Mel just knocked over seven I did. cans I of just beer. I knocked over a can. I was like, she's got like her seven cans. <laughs> like her <laughs> beer <was> castle. <laughs> Two, but yes. Seven, got it. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> breakfast foods, once they're cooked, they're cooked and they're not going to kill you. Chicken, on the other hand, that can be dicey. I don't need your strip club chicken wings. Yeah, just any of it. It's just yeah. I can respect that. There is like a a strip club near us that is known for their steaks. 
Like they have a really great Shut the steak. Fuck up. No, I swear to you. I swear. <laughs> it's in Shut Newburgh, New York. Maybe that's how they get the deep pockets in there. Oh, they get yeah, something. It's deep, called you know? the mansion. <laughs> It's called, it's called the mansion. The mansion? And it's called the mansion, and they're known for their steaks, but it is a strip club. Like, I don't know how it works if, like, they're full. Well, you got to call nude. it like a high class gentleman's club or something like that. I guess. It's yeah. called a strip club. Yeah. Right. But, well, in California, you can't be fully nude and serve alcohol. That's usually the same in New York, but I've never okay. been to this place. I've just heard it from people. Lies. You know what I mean? I've totally been there. Yeah. No, never been there. Just heard it at the steak club. Hi. Want to go to the mansion? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Let's drag Mel and Lou out to the mansion. I love steaks. We're there. Yeah. yeah. Done and done. You know, if we, went out, if we went out there, Mel would go. Yeah, Mel? I would go without like, you. You would also. go without us. Then why yeah. haven't you gone? We need you to do some homework. I just and report back. I, you know, my, I, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. She's like, I'm we'll training let you guys for a marathon. I don't have time to go to these I am training for a marathon. We have to do this before January. I'm going back to school to be a nurse practitioner. There's a lot happening in life, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak this trip into the mansion, and I'm going to order a steak, and I will review both of them. There's always time How's for steak sound? and boobs. See, that makes always me wonder, time. is yeah. it like multiple cuts of steak, or is it like... They only know. do this steak, or is it like a full on like steakhouse menu? <laughs> I've just like when, laughed uh, every time people told me that they ordered a steak while they were going there. Like, do it's I get not a choice of a other, potato? <laughs> you must. You know, do you, like, do you think steak is code for something? Do I get no, no, ho- no. It's holidays? a legit steak, like oh. like a filet mignon. Maybe a, pe- oh. a peppercorn sauce. I do. I do like you peppercorn might. sauce. Oh, peppercorn sauce is good. Like mm. peppercorn wine sauce. That's good oh, yeah. stuff. We were in when we were in Tahoe. We went on this god awful like cruise across the lake dinner thing. The wife really wanted to do it, and I was like, "You know, the food's gonna be bad." She's like, "No, the reviews say the food's great." And I'm like, mm, "It's gonna be horrible." Spoiler: food was awful. And <laughs> we ordered our steaks, and like I got mine like me- medium rare, and she got hers medium. They looked exactly the same, <laughs> which yeah. I knew I knew would happen. Like it's it's worse than wedding every, food every time. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, the food's not really good. I was like, of course it's not. It's a fucking boat. You're not paying for food. You're paying for the, the sunset Experience, views. Yeah. You're paying yeah. for their gas money. Yeah, it was the worst. She's like, I can't believe it wasn't good. The reviews said it was good. I was like, the reviews are people from Nevada who come from Vegas. Anything's good. Sorry, Vegas. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Steaks. <laughs> Get them in a strip club. Yeah. Dick and titties, everybody. And on that note, good night, everybody. On that note, we're going to hit some music. I, I, I hey, actually Vanessa. Feel, I was going to say, I feel awkward saying this, but I, Vanessa. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a weird segue. Very weird segue. Oh, hello, Vanessa. <laughs> I said hello. Uh, Mel, thanks for putting up with us for two weeks in a row. I think you guys put up with me mostly, and you couldn't even see me each time. You should, you should get an award. I, yeah. Give me an award. I'll or or you know what else you should get? You should also get a camera. I know. <laughs> I'm working on that for <laughs> we'll, next we'll week. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're back again. So Seven much. computers, and not one of them has a camera. <laughs> yeah. But a yellow camera. Well, she does have seven cans of beer she just knocked over, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we'll get there. It's a low budget show. We'll we'll get there eventually. Luckily, the listeners are like, "You guys have cameras. We can't see you, fucks." Uh, follow us on the socials at Craft Beer Republic at Flex Me Beer underscores in between, and of course at Beer Girl underscore Mel. And she's uh, dishing up some sweet steaks over there. So go check her out, in New York. Yep. I think that's everything. I hope everyone out there is staying very well hydrated. As Flex yawns. I was like Flex falling asleep, standing up. <laughs> Ready? Ready for it? Here we go. And on that note, good night, everybody.